Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see! Hey, what's up? It's Kayla, and I'm here to kind of just talk about where I've been and what I plan on doing coming back to making booktube videos on YouTube. So back in December, during Christmas time, I got pretty overwhelmed just by watching videos. It seemed like everyone was doing um, 12 days of Vlogmas. Um, plus all their normal videos and then they started including yearly favorites and all that stuff which is great but this was during the holidays and this past Christmas my family and I went to Colorado for Christmas so I was traveling so once I came back I got sick and I was sick for the entire month of January which was not fun and once I was finally good to go in February, I was just kind of out of routine of watching videos and then obviously making videos. However, I was still reading a ton. Like in January, I read like 15 books. I read so much. So I've still been reading, which is great. However, I just wasn't watching any YouTube videos. I instead caught up on TV shows and movies and that was okay. <laughs> uh, I like TV and movies so I caught up on the Goldbergs which I love. Um, I hated obviously it wasn't really the finale but the Goldbergs attempted to do like a spin-off and they aired that pilot episode that didn't get picked up but they wanted to air just that pilot anyways and it was just god awful. It was like, it has to do with like the school after all the Goldberg children had graduated and it was just kind of like the teachers, like the principal, the new principal and some of the teachers and it was like horrible. Like there was, the Goldbergs is great because it's a family dynamics, it's a family show and it mostly takes place like in their house and a little bit at the school, but like, I don't know. It didn't get picked up for a reason. Um, and then my husband and I got caught up on The Good Place, which is just getting better and better. It, that, seriously, that show is such a surprise. If you haven't watched it yet, try to check it out. I believe season one's on Netflix. Um, and then I got caught up on American Horror Story. I love American Horror Story. So my catch up consisted of um, Roanoke on Netflix and then a cult I had DVR'd on the TV. So I loved Roanoke actually. I wasn't going in with high expectations because a lot of people didn't seem to like it. And it was really different. So I'm guessing that's why I've heard bad things or at least mixed things. I liked it. Roanoke is a play on those like true crime I survived a haunted house or I survived a scary experience shows you see on TV and then so they had that and that's how it was like filmed and then the show within the show did really well and so there's like spin-off shows of like people going to this haunted house or this haunted area and to kind of debunk it or to see if it was real whatever and then things just happen. I thought it was done really well like we got to see the scary story told through like actors in TV shows and then we actually at towards the end we actually got to see, see like the real ghosts and people from the show. It's kind of hard to explain because it's like a show within a show and then there's other shows and but I loved it. Going into cult I had high expectations because everyone had said cult is like the best season yet or like the best one since Asylum. Asylum is my personal favorite. I think it's the scariest and it has the best storyline of all the seasons and I was also told that they were going to start incorporating the storylines more meaning um American Horror Story is an anthology show and so it was later revealed like I think in season four that all of the seasons all the different storylines are all connected somehow and so you started seeing characters one or two characters or maybe <clears throat> locations mentioned from previous seasons in the newer seasons so but that wasn't the case like there was one character um in cult from the past seasons one other one i think was mentioned 
And that was about it. So don't know what that was all about. And I liked it. I thought it was very smart. Um, it was about the presidential election from 2016. Very big on race issues, very big on gender issues. I was going in with big expectations and actually, I don't know if it's just because I'm getting seasoned as American Horror Story goes on. I kind of know what to expect, but I found it predictable as far as like the reveals for the show. But uh, I still thought it was really good and I'm glad I watched it. I also dove into the realm of Food Network. I love Food Network. I love cooking. And I watched a ton of uh, Worst Cooks in America is like my new favorite show. I love it so much. Um, I wish more seasons were on streaming networks that's not the case and then a few movies that we watched over the break we just watched coco loved it rented it and then i immediately bought it we watched um the good dinosaur and fan the fantastic beasts and then now i'm currently uh binge watching survivor i love survivor i love survivor someday i really want to audition for the show i think my husband would be really good for the show and I'm watching that. Okay, so some things that are coming up I'm gonna be talking about briefly. Um, books that I've read from December, January, and February. I'm going to have some separate videos about series I've finished. I've finished a few series over my break. And right now I'm finishing Ready Player One. My husband just finished it. He read it before me and he wants to actually do a video with me where we talk about the book and then we plan on going to see the movie. So we'll probably do a husband and wife talk book versus movie Ready Player One. So that'll be coming up soon. Yeah, what else have I been doing? I've been playing a lot more um, video games. Um, I am obsessed with Zoom Zoom game on my phone. So I got really back, I got back into that. And then I started playing Pokemon Gold, the original version uh, on my DS. Been playing that. And that's about all I've been doing over the break. So I'm really glad to be back. I wasn't very active on Twitter either. But I've missed you guys and I miss the community and I missed having people to talk about books or at least vent. I missed having someone to talk about books with. Since my husband started reading, story time about that, he suddenly just got the urge to want to read and he wanted to read Ready Player One. And I told him I'll get it for him at the library. However, there was like a 75 person wait long list. And he, you know, didn't want to wait. So he got the Kindle ebook. So I said, okay, that's fine. We have two Kindle e-readers. We have a Paperwhite, which is like Gen 3. And then we have like, I think a Gen 1 Kindle Fire, which he doesn't like the Kindle Fire. So he only wants to read on the Kindle Paperwhite, which both of these Kindles are his, by the way. They were not originally mine. He was the one that wanted to buy them. And the Kindle Paper White won't charge. It won't charge. It won't hold a charge. And we tried resetting it. He called the help people and basically they just said, well, it's an old version. So you just have to, we'll give you like a $25 credit to get the new Paper White. And so at first he was like, oh no, that's silly. And then like two days later, he ends up buying the new Kindle Paper White. So he bought a book and a new e-reader just to a man who hasn't read a book in like three years and who doesn't consistently read. And then on my end, like I'm an avid library reader and um, audiobook user. So that happened, but I love, he got the new paper white, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it's the paper white, like it's readable on like the paper looking um, screen and then it's also backlit so you can read it when you're not in natural sunlight or you can read it like in bed if it's, if you don't have the lights on. So I really like it. I think it was worth the investment I guess, but I just thought it was kind of silly that he went really gun ho on reading items when he's not even a reader. But if you guys um, 
can think uh, he wants to keep reading so I've been trying to pitch him some other books that I think he might like I think we're gonna start reading Red Rising together I have the audiobook and the ebook I'm on hold for both of those at the library and I told him <laughs> let's get them from the library especially since it's part of a series so we can see if we like it first before we if we want to purchase them later um, but if anyone has any recommendations you might think my husband would like, he's just kind of the typical, he's re read the typical kind of guy books. He's liked, he likes Ender's Game, he likes Rudder Player One, he likes the Dan Brown books, and honestly I don't even know what else he's read. So if you have any recommendations let me know. Um, for him, I'd like to continue him on to keep reading at least, especially since you know, we got a new e-reader. <laughs> Might as well get our money's worth. My allergies are really bad. <coughs> um, let me know what I missed. Is there any videos that you'd like me to watch of yours? Please let me know. I've been trying to like kind of watch some of um, everyone's more recent stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to play catch up completely, but if there's anything you think I would like or a tag or something that happened or whatever, let me know. Um, I'll definitely check it out. Um, I am participating in a readathon coming up. I'm actually a guest host for the for Twitter Sprints. It's going it's called um, the Unslump a thon. So if you're in a reading slump or if you just want to participate, um, there's Twitter information and I'll have my TBR posted probably next week for that. But um, I haven't been in a reading slump, but I've been in a booktube slump, so I thought this was kind of a good time to hop back in and get out of my slump. So if you want to participate in that, you're more than welcome to. Or if you just want to hop on the Twitter sprints, we're doing multiple sprints throughout the week. It's March 31st through April 8th, something like that, or 6th, April 6th, can't remember, it's like a week long thing, so... That's happening too. Lots of things. Some shows that I'm excited that are coming up that won't take me away from booktube, but I'm just excited about The Hundreds coming back. I just saw the trailer and I'm so excited. That's coming back in April. Um, and then season two of A Series of Unfortunate Events is gonna be on Netflix March 31st. So I'm really excited about that because those next Season two, I think, is book five through five, six, seven, eight. I think it's through the Hostel Hospital. So yeah, so it's book five through eight, I believe, which I love like this second arc kind of of the of the series. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see the Quagmires. I'm excited to see Esme. I'm excited uh, for VFD to come more into the picture. I know the show is more incorporating um, kind of the mystery of this group that their parents were involved in and all that stuff with the show more so than the series, the early books in the series. What else is coming on? Walking Dead's on right now. We actually haven't been watching it, but it's on DVR and I haven't been spoiled for anything so I don't know if a lot, a whole lot is really even happening right now. Um, the OA should be coming back this year, I think. Oh, uh, fuck, what's that show called? Westworld's coming back. That's like in April 2, I think. That was like a Super Bowl thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I think Westworld's coming back in April. Westworld's just a mindfuck, so there's a lot of things I kind of forgot that happened. So I'm excited for that. Yes, Westworld. So, yay. If you didn't notice, all these are kind of fandoms that I'm part in, all these shows. So that's something I've been wanting to do. So that's definitely something that I'll probably be talking about more in individual videos instead of just like going on forever in this hey where have I been video. So yeah. <laughs> what shows are you guys watching now or what are you looking forward to? Um, I feel like I'm missing some things. But I don't think so. I think I got them all. Yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for kind of sticking around. Sorry, I've been MIA and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!